Ethereum sells off. Oh, but hold on. You guys can see from our chart that we actually saw that coming before it actually happened. Welcome to HFN, also known as Houston News. I'm going to give you all an updated price target, updated price prediction into the market for Ethereum so that we can be in the forefront of these market moves. Take a look at my chart. Yes, I did a price prediction into the market in Ethereum on the 29th of December. So here we are about a month into that prediction. You guys can see what the price has done. Now, I know many people are going to tell you to come in and buy the dip in Ethereum. They're going to tell you, they're going to sing the tweets, they're going to show you the videos saying that they came through and bought the dip. From our perspective, though, if Ethereum's price is going to continue to fall, we do not need to participate right now, especially we're looking for the price to go up. So I'm going to speak on that today. And as always, if you guys appreciate my videos, my content, hit that like button, you know, share the video, also subscribe to the channel. I'm going to give you price predictions. I'm going to show you where I'm looking for the price to go so that we can be prepared and that you won't be caught on guard and been questioning and scratching your head trying to figure out, okay, why is Ethereum's price going down? Take a look at this. This is my channel right here. If you want to get the latest price prediction for any type of cryptocurrency that I cover here on this channel, make sure you come to my playlist. This is where you're going to get the actual latest information as to what I'm looking for these cryptocurrencies to go. All right. Because I know the YouTube algorithm might be throwing some a couple of videos that I've done maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks ago. And that's not the latest one. So for my subscribers, I want to make sure you guys get the latest information. Make sure you come here to this playlist and watch the latest one. All right. Now, let's get back to this Ethereum real quick, because I, we can't say that we're not surprised to see Ethereum fall. We cannot say that. As a matter of fact, back here, back here on the 28th of December, right, the 29th, I was playing the weeks into the market in Ethereum. Now, it was our expectation to try to see this market in Ethereum hold $3,200, but it did for a small period of time, right? We'll give, we'll give the market credit right here that it came and was able to hold price. Yeah, it did it, but then it soon fell back down. So it's a pretty good call there. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. If you guys took out the market right there around $3,200, congratulations, that's still 15%. While everyone else is still hoping and wishing that the price in Ethereum goes back up, you still got that 15% out the market. If you were to get out now, take a look at this. Yeah, you're up 41% right now. So it's a pretty good move. Let's go ahead and get rid of this because we want to see where in the world is the market and Ethereum is going to go next. Should we buy it? Should we not buy it? I'm going to show you a reason why Ethereum is not a buy right now. So real quick, let's clean this chart up because for me, we don't like dirty charts. No, we don't like to have, you know, 15 technical indicators on our chart just to figure out where one price is going to go. It isn't required. It isn't needed. So let's get rid of one of these lines. You guys can see that Ethereum is trading around 2236 right now. And I got this very top horizontal line right there around $4,200. Let's get rid of it. That, that, it. There's no need for us to keep it up there. No, it, it, there's no need. Now, look at this. Do you think the trend is broken in Ethereum? Because if it is, we should not be bullish into the market. Bullish simply means you're just looking for the price to go up. If we broke this trend, it's not going to look good for Ethereum in 2022. Look at this. What do you think? What do you think just happened in the market in Ethereum? <laughs> yes, we broke a very good trend. I mean, all of 2021, we've seen a great movement high in Ethereum. I mean, you guys could probably go back and look at a couple of YouTube videos where everyone else was speaking on how powerful Ethereum is, how high its price is going to go. And we've seen it. Right. Look at that. But then we broke it. Now, I'm the first one to tell you this. Don't expect the price in Ethereum to go up. No, because we broke this trend. The dynamics of Ethereum's market has now changed. The overall market for all of last year has now changed. I'm not here to convince you. I'm simply here to show you the information off of the price chart because money doesn't lie. And when we break this trend, it was a definitive answer by the market to say that, yeah, um, we're not looking for the price to go up. Not right now. So keep that in mind as we go throughout 2022 for Ethereum. So we need to start adjusting our mentality. We need to start thinking, OK, if the market's not going to go up, that's cool because I now, I now know I'm not scared. I won't be worried to not see Ethereum's price go up. So now we need to try to determine how low. Let's look at this on the three weeks time frame. All right. Let me show you this on the three weeks time frame. 
this is the theorem on the three weeks right and i want you all to see this right here this three weekly price bar into the market in the theorem kind of shows us that this is where the dynamics has changed yes right here now my focus is already over here though okay we need to see the market in Ethereum find some buyers around this area. So we don't have that far to go down. Okay, so I don't want you all to think that the market in Ethereum is going to go back down to $100 or anything like that. Not yet. But we could still see this market in Ethereum come down to what? $2,000, $1,800? Definitely around $1,800. Right? You can see that around $1,800 we can see the price in Ethereum try to find the buyers. This is Ethereum on the two-week time frame. Look at this. We got six days left and already pretty big move, right? Already. So $22,000, $1,800 is where I'm really looking for the buyers to approach. They might show up. They might not, especially with this very wide spread on this two-weekly price bar. Here's Ethereum right here on the weekly. You guys can see that right now. Yes, we are seeing some weakness into the market. So, I mean, it is what it is. If you're a buyer into the market in Ethereum, the market is actually trying to tell us that you may want to wait. Yeah, you might want to wait a little bit. So I'm looking around 2000. Well, I'm going to take it up a little higher than 2000, like $2,045. $2,050 is my first spot. Second area, all the way down there towards 1800. The basis really needs to be in around $1,800 because I say that because back in 2021, May time frame, June, July time frame, we saw the price in Ethereum hold support there. So we need to see the market buyers come into the market right here. So I'm dropping you all a hint right now to where we need to see the buyers ultimately come into the market in Ethereum. If we break $1,800, we shouldn't be scared because I've already told you that we are not looking for the price to go massively up. We broke the trend that we started a whole year ago, right? So let me go ahead and drop this price prediction on the chart for Ethereum. I've shown you why the market right now in Ethereum is not a buy. And I know you all may say, uh, duh, that's obvious because Bitcoin is going down. Everything follows Bitcoin's market. No, that's not the case. So look at this. Let me show you what we got. Because I said what? Um, 2140? Will be the first location. I mean, twenty two thousand forty dollars, fifty dollars. That's the first spot. So that's about another eight and a quarter percent boom to the downside. Be prepared for that, and that might happen relatively quick, considering all the weakness that is into the market right now for Ethereum. Second area is down here towards eighteen hundred, which is another twenty and three quarters of a percent market move to the downside. Yeah. It doesn't look pretty, does it? No. And we're going to bleed weak into the market in Ethereum until we see this price. Really, $2,800 is restriction. So let me fix this over on a two day. Okay, so we got it right there. We're going to play the weakness into the market in Ethereum until we see price break around $2,800 to $2,900, right? We got two price targets right now, $2,050 to $1,800. The next level, the third price target will be all the way down here, which is be, it will be a lot longer term for us to see the market in Ethereum hit $1,500. So I'm going to bring it up there to $1,800. Really want us to see this market buyers come in there first. If we don't, then yeah, be prepared for $1,550. I'm here already letting you know that now in January. So let's look at this on a daily time frame and switch this over. I want you all to see what the expectations are right now into the market in Ethereum. We're playing some weakness, not that much, but this is the reason why the market in Ethereum has changed its dynamics from being a very bullish market in 2021 to now breaking that trend. So now we need to switch our mentality into thinking that the price in Ethereum is now weak. And now we're just going to continue to follow the price down until we find buyers. So this is my thoughts. This is my premise. This is my price prediction. Now it's your turn. The comment section is open. You can drop me your comment real quick on your price target for Ethereum. Where you think the market is headed as we go throughout the month of March? What direction? And tell everyone. 
publicly what is your price target yeah real quick let us know make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different